I'm here to talk about creating section breaks in Word. This is Word 2007. Let's go into the print preview of this EverRipe file that I use in class. Uh, if you're in my classes, you will be able to have access to it. I'm on the print preview. And then if we look at this thing here, I'll just click on the zoom. I'm going to go many pages like this. Say OK. We have two pages here. What we want to do, we want to create a cover page. But the other following pages are going to be numbered. The front will not. The front will be centered on the first page. Uh, it's very easy to do as long as you pay attention. OK, we're on here. First thing, I want to make this stand out. I could use a style, such as Heading 1. OK, what I want to do, I want to put the executive summary on the second page. You could click on Page Layout to insert a page break right here. However, we don't want to do a regular page break. We're going to do a next page break. So I click here. I have the paragraph markers on that little backwards P here. And it shows section break. What this means is if we go to the footer, we can partition this off. I click on Insert. And then I go to footer, gives us a bunch of styles in the 2007 here. So let's say I want to use the alphabet style. I click on that. Now it says I'm in footer section two. It says same as previous. It means there's a handshake where it's linking to the previous. We've got the header and footer toolers here. What I want to do is it says link to previous. We have to shut this off. If this shows up here and there, it's going to put that same footer in section one, which shows here. If I shut it off, it's going to shut it off there. So I go in here. I want to shut this off. I click on link to previous. I could go into the placeholder here, and I could just say ever ripe report. It says page two there. Now I go to the previous section. I don't want the text here. I highlight it, delete it. OK, I close out the header and the footer. I go to the print preview. It shows just the footer on these two pages. But let's say I want to center this page here, page one. I go up to page one. I click in here. We go to page layout. We click on the page setup thing here. We click on the layout tab. It says vertical alignment center. Make sure you have this section only. Otherwise, if you say this point forward or whole document, everything is going to be centered. I say OK. Now I go into the print preview again. So I've got that, that, and that. Now if I look in here, it says page two. Let's say I want to make this page one. Uh, because the cover page doesn't want to be counted. We go into the footer again. I could just double click in here. And what I do, I go into the thing here. And then I can go into page number. And you can format the page numbers. And I'm going to say start at 1. And see how it changes it automatically. So you've got page 1 and 2 on here. So if I go to the print preview again, th this is page one now. This is page two now. That's all it is to doing this. Good luck.